with a strike looking more likely each hour. Many commuters have started thinking about when they will leave for work on Monday morning and which route to take. Tonight, Crown Force Dan Kerman looks at how the roadways fared during the first strike in July and which ones were most congested. If you can remember back to the first day of the BART strike, you remember gridlock, but it might surprise you to know that actually traffic was down July 1st, just slightly on the Bay Bridge, but it was up on the Richmond San Rafael, Dumbarton and San Mateo bridges. But let's get to the nitty gritty congestion. The worst traffic on the Bay Bridge July 1st was between 8 and 9 a.m. But as we made our way through the week, people started leaving earlier and by Friday, July 5th, just before those trains started rolling again, the worst traffic on the bridge was between between 6 and 7 a.m. And remember, we're expecting a 10% increase in vehicles if a strike happens next week. Now let's talk about the worst commutes. Well, they were all in the East Bay. 80 from the Carquinez Bridge to the Bay Bridge. 580 from 238 to the Maze. 880 from Fremont to Oakland. And 24 from 680 through the Caldecott Tunnel all the way to 580. How bad was it? Well, in that first morning of the strike, it took an additional 24 minutes to get from the Carquinez Bridge to the Maze and an additional 12 minutes on Highway 24. And we saw the greatest increase in vehicles. Do you know where that was? Well, that would be along 880 at Winton Avenue. Listen to this. Vehicle traffic increased 114% between 6 and 7 o'clock in the morning. That's a lot of cars, but hopefully armed with some of this information, you'll be able to make some smart choices going forward if we see a strike next week. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. The Bay Area Council surveyed almost 500 people living in counties that BART services. 70% of people oppose BART workers going on strike. 69% say BART workers are not underpaid. So the majority of people think BART employees get paid a fair salary. And the council estimates that the impact of a BART strike costs the Bay Area economy $73 million a day in lost worker productivity. It is worth noting here that the Bay Area Council is a public advocacy organization that openly supports a strong economy and thus sides with BART management in this labor battle. The council is telling the unions to end the strike talk, keep the trains moving, and keep the local economy moving forward.